I could literally watch her sleep all day long, every day. She's the most precious creature. Look at that face. We also wanted to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. More about them later. But we're about to get ready because we have a very exciting day. Good morning. How are you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I am getting ready because we have a very exciting day. I have been working on, in my head, I've been working on a project for a while, going on maybe two years now. And so far, it's only been in my head and in all of my notebooks and just creative ideas that I've just been like jotting down, dreaming about. So today's an exciting day because I am further exploring that idea. I've got some meetings, I've got some conversations to be had. I'm gonna be one of those people that says stay tuned and it's a secret project and you'll know soon enough. And as I was getting ready this morning, I have determined, and I already knew this, but I've determined I have nothing to wear. Romeo hates when I say that, but I have nothing to wear. I did get these Versace pants like you guys saw in the last vlog that I was trying to make work. I'll show you my outfit in a minute. So I've been trying to put together an outfit for today and it was just like frustrating. You guys know a lot of my clothing is all thrifted, but I do like to mix in some newer things. Maybe we'll go shopping after my meeting since we'll be kind of by that area. I'm gonna finish getting ready really quick and see if this outfit works. Here is my final outfit for today. Denise is here. <laughs> She had a great hack to make my pants a little smaller. I looped the belt loop around the button and then kind of folded it over. So it made my pants a lot tighter. So we're going with it, even though I don't have anything to wear. LA, everybody has a sun move. Singing like they're trying to make a sun move. And I love it. Woo, shopping. This is cute. Ooh, Stodd. <laughs> that is so cute. So expensive though. I think that's how women shop here is not even looking at prices. How much is that? 460. <laughs> Wait, that's so cute. Look at this little one. That's so cute. Oh my. I'm looking around Nordstrom. I think thrift shopping has ruined me. Ruined. Like I feel like everything should be five dollars. This is cute. I love the slit right here. Do you look how cute this is? Oh my god, the tie-dye one's cute. Oh, that one's way better. Oh shoot. It's actually really soft too. I've been really looking for dresses, but I haven't really found any that I absolutely love. That's cute. This shape on me is so not flattering. Like this little peasanty top, it just does not look good. All the colors in here are really pretty. Frame denim. I actually have a pair of their denim. That's, I, I really like their denim. Dragon, Dragon bone. bone. Wait, these are so cute. <laughs> Wait, they're so comfortable. They're so, I know they look like clouds. Treat yourself. Treat myself? Treat yourself. They're nude and comfortable like a cloud. Oh. Wait, we can DIY that. That would be so cute. Mm -hmm. What would you want it to say? I don't know yet. How pretty is this dress? I love this. With these shoes. Finally back home. What a crazy day so far. It's actually now like five p.m. Had two big meetings today, which went very, very well. Creating some cool stuff, hopefully. Um, so you guys will hear much, much more about that very soon when it becomes more of an actual thing. These are very preliminary meetings, very preliminary ideas that I have. So we did a little shopping. I got some cute things, let me show you. These shoes I splurged a little bit on. I thrift shop a ton. But I do love designer quality things like shoes. Like I have those Gucci loafers that I wear all the time. I absolutely love them. They're my go-to shoe. But I don't really like to wear those loafers in the summertime. So I wanted a sandal and I saw these and I thought they were like too cute. But I'm gonna try them on here. The lighting was a little off in Nordstrom. So they're actually neoprene. The neoprene for this product is 100% recycled, reducing waste and keeping textiles out of landfills. Kind of very into them. They're kind of cute. I'm kind of into them. Do you like my new shoes? Oh, those are sweet. What are they called? They almost look like Burks. 
They kind of do, right? They look a little bit like they're very comfortable. They're rag and bone. Are they cute? Well, they're hella cute. Yeah, I just never seen them before. They I know. They like Sakai's too. I'll see about that. I'm gonna like live in them for a little bit, not wear them out, but just kind of like try them on. Maybe try them on with some different outfits and see if they're gonna like work with my wardrobe, but they're really neutral. Just two things from Zara. Really pretty dress. Romy and I have spent much time together, just like us, and we've either been working on the house. So there is a restaurant in town that they were kind of building all through quarantine that I would like to go to. So this totally might be too dressy to actually go to that place. I'm not sure. So we'll see once I try it on. Um, I also got some new perfumes. One of them is a reorder because I loved the one that I got last month so much I went through it. It is this one, Memoir by the Sea. It smells so good. And I went through the whole bottle. I went through the whole 30 day supply. And um, you guys haven't heard of Scentbird, they're a fragrance subscription service where you can try like over 600 different brands, designer brands of fragrances, and you can choose a new scent every month for only $16 a month. And if you've ever bought perfume or bottles of cologne before, you know how expensive they can get, like 150, 300, $500. So Scentbird works with top designers like Prada and Gucci to make these 30 day supply bottles that look like this and they come in these twist top colorful bottles that is so cute for you like your vanity you can keep out or you can throw in your purse how pretty their colors are since you order your scentbird fragrances online and you can't smell them you're not there to smell them and it's, especially if you're trying a new one take their quiz online so it can give you recommendations based on other ones that you've actually loved so you can explore new options so i got a new memoir by the sea because i loved it and since i love that brand i wanted to see if memoir had another scent that i was going to absolutely love so this one is wish you were here oh it smells good too Summer rain, toasted almonds, and fresh ground coffee. Like I don't smell too much of the coffee. I really like the memoir collection. So that's two, that's two for two that I've tried from them. I also got these two to try out. Maison Sabri. <laughs> Is there a pronunciation one? <laughs> it's got birch, tar, lavender, and patchouli. It's more musk for sure. I smell a little bit of the patchouli, which I'm not a huge fan of. You never know. In the bottle, it smells differently than it does on you. So I'm definitely down to try it out. This red panda sanctuary. Oh, this one smells good. This one's more fruity. This is like a good date night one. Next month, I want to try the Alibi by Oscar de la Renta. So I have that in my cart already ready to try that one out. So if you guys want to try out some fragrances, make sure to click the link in my description box to get 30% off when you use code McKenna30 at checkout. And that makes it just $11 for your first month. And their subscription service is super flexible. You can skip a month if you need to. You could up it to two to three bottles a month if you wanted to try some new ones out. So try Memoirs by the Sea. Order that one because that one's like really good. Um, so we are gonna go to dinner very soon. You guys, it may be way too dressy. I mean, it's a really pretty dress. Like I thought it was gonna be super cute with these shoes, but I think it's just like too much. It was way too dressy. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know if this is really gonna match the tacos and brewery type place. So I'm back in the same jeans that I had before, but I changed my belt and my top because I think it's a little cooler. Obviously it's a little cooler in LA at night. Freshening up my makeup. So I did get a new setting spray in Texas. I was trying out the Anastasia one, the Dew one, but I didn't bring it here because the bottle was too big to fit in my carry-on. So I got this one, it's from Ilia. It's actually a blue light filter, facial setting, protective mist. And it's really nice, it smells good. I wish they still made this. I'm so sad when I'm gonna run out because I don't think that they make it anymore, but it's the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in color Swing. So good. And then I think I'm gonna wear this one. You know what this smells like? Roberto Cavalli used to make a just, oh my gosh, I even remember it. It was called Just Cavalli. Favorite scent, it was a little bit fruity, a little bit musk. This kind of smells really similar. Well, that's really good. Okay, off to dinner. take a look at all the stuff in the home section. I haven't been here in forever. It was actually kind of bare. This is a really pretty throw. I have like probably three of them that look just like that. Ooh, cute. 
Nothing I want though. We need to find a pool noodle. Pool noodle. Hoping Target would have them. Maybe in like this stuff. <laughs> Pool noodles. Oh, this is perfect. I was hoping that they would have different sizes. So see how small this one is compared to this one. See the difference? <gasps> so excited. I definitely need the smaller of them. I am so glad that Target had pool noodles and especially pool noodles, pool, pool noodles, pool noodles that were a little smaller in diameter because I didn't know if they came in like different sizes and I definitely needed something smaller. So I got those. I need to assess like what else I need for this video. Cause today's Friday. I've got Friday and Saturday to do thrift flip videos so that you guys have it on Sunday. So you'll get a little behind the scenes. I was just getting my other vlog up for today, flying back to LA, going thrift shopping and being at the flea market with Romeo and all the fun things that we did right when we got back. Um, so that is live. Go check that out if you haven't already because I found some of the thrift flips for this next video that we're gonna be working on today. Making a wrap. We went to Whole Foods. We had nothing in the house. We've been in Texas. So I have these seven grain wraps, pepper jack cheese, hummus, some avocado, a tomato, honey maple turkey breast to go in it. I'm gonna start my weekend out right. Gonna live it up in my downtown. I got a new book and it's worth to look just right. Okay, we have to figure out these thrift flips. This is usually like my process right here. Let's see. So these are the two pieces that I found. And I also found that dresser that I didn't get. I'm kind of regretting it. I know that I don't have space for that dresser. Would have been a good thrift flip, but the process itself would have been the same as like all the other furniture pieces that I've redone. And since it was already painted, I would have probably repainted it. So it was the same as like all of these. <laughs> Felt like I wanted to do something different. This lamp is already brass and it's actually pretty cool, but it's very, you know, rusted and, you know, just damaged here on the bottom and stuff. I found a picture online, inspiration lamp that had these circles. And they were like circle, 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 circle. It was, so it was like ribbed almost, like large ribs. That's why I got pool noodles. Like shape the noodles into, you know, the circle kind of format, circle shape. One loop would be there and then up and up and up. But I think it might be even better. I was trying, I was like, well, that's gonna be a really thick lamp. And then I don't know how that's gonna work when it get up, gets up to the top. Like, see, that looks a little weird. So it needs to be a little more flush, I think. So I was thinking about cutting these in half. Sure, and the consistency of it is very like dimply. Foamy. So it's like, what do, you, what do we do? We can't just paint it. So we're seeing, I test it out. It's kind of still drying right now, but I tested out some joint compound on the top of the pool noodle. And I think it's actually going to work. It's sticking, but it's flaking off. I wonder if I seal it, put polyurethane over the top of it. I'll let that dry for a little bit and we'll test that in a little bit. And then the bar cart. I like it as is. Look at her. I love the color of the wood because look, gosh, I've got to deep clean my house, you guys. Look at that dust. Oh my gosh, that's coming soon. You see the color of this bookcase? This is always the one that I'm trying to match. It's in good shape. I like that it looks a little vintage, but I can totally clean it up. I love the brass little touches here on the shelves. I love the hardware and I love the wheels. So it's like, what do you do? I think can be updated is the top here. I even thought about updating the handles here so they weren't wood or maybe painting the handles a different color to give it some contrast. I think I want to do something on top. I also don't like that there's, you know, kind of like a space, like a crack here. What I was thinking, some kind of tiling, like actually doing a tiled kind of detail on top. It has like a quarter inch lip here all the way around that the tile could fit perfectly into if we find the tile that's, you know, just a quarter of an inch thick. Of course, when tile pops in my head, I immediately go herringbone. I have to go to Lowe's but I don't have a car. <laughs> My car is in Texas. I love her so much. I love you so much. Before I left, I went to the thrift store and I found these. They were $7.50 a piece, but they were just so cool. They actually look a lot like the bar cart. Look at that, like the same. Maybe we could style it really pretty with that bowl. When I found these, I was like, what do these remind me of? Something in my memory or brain were thinking like, what does this remind me of? And then I saw it, the picture again and there was a kitchen that Shay McGee redid. They had these huge pendant lights over the island and they were like this, obviously. Like think of this like 
six times their size. I was like, these would be really cool as pendants. Since they're smaller, you don't have to do two, but you could do like three of them. I think I have three or four of these. But that's a super easy thrift flip too, because you just drill a hole and put a pendant light through it. So we'll wait until Romeo gets back and then we'll go look for some tiles. And then I'm gonna wake up early in the morning and start filming this video. Um, <sighs> so much to do, so, <laughs> so much to do. So Little Time is the story of my life in 2021. So it's really gonna be interesting looking at tiles again at Lowe's because I think I've been a little spoiled. I've been going to really nice tile places for the cottage and I wanna do a herringbone pattern, but also go with the look, you know? Also, something that I've learned through this tile process is that since this is gonna be a surface that we're gonna set things on, well, I want it porcelain, obviously, because ceramic can crack. Ceramic, ceramic, ceramic. I really like that one right there. You see how there's brass in between the marble pieces? I really like that because then it would tie in with the other shelf. My worry is that the tile is gonna feel so disjointed from the other shelves, like the brass. So I like that, but they don't have it. I also really like this because it has some warmth in it there. Is it too busy? I don't know. So honestly, I didn't like anything. <laughs> I think what, I got some to like look at, but I think what I'm struggling with is that this looks so vintage and then with the patina on all of the brass and the shelves and stuff and then the wheels, it's, a very specific look. I felt like the only ones that I liked had this brass detail because I was kind of stuck on making it all match and flow together. To me, in my head, it looks so art deco. And that's not me. I don't see like, that ain't it. <laughs> that is not, that ain't it. That's not it. I don't, I don't. I do not. The adventure was a fail. I, uh, I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't know if I'm not liking the tile idea as a whole or I'm not liking those particular tiles because they make them, it look more art deco. I'm not also not a marble person. So why did I pick these? I think I'm trying to make this brass detailing or the gold detailing tie in and that this was the only option. So I guess by the time you guys actually see this vlog, I will have already figured this out. <laughs> Date from the future. I didn't figure it out. <laughs> The thrift flips just didn't come together. I think the lamp would have come together, but the bar cart is just too good as is. Worried about ruining it. Um, so comment below what you would do. We have some more time um, for me to find some more things to flip and uh, maybe replace that one and then not do the bar cart. Or if you guys can come up with a really cool idea that you'd like to see on the bar cart, let me know in the comments. I don't know. I'm so pressed for time and I hate designing like that, but sometimes that's when the best ideas come to me under pressure. I know, that's what I'm telling them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We did so much, meetings and shopping and date night and behind the scenes of this new DIY video. So I will see you guys again next week for another vlog and don't forget to check out this Sunday's video. I'm gonna go play with this little girl. What's she doing? Oh, is it playtime? You gonna say bye? Say like and subscribe. You're crazy dog. Bye guys. Los Angeles is my a fair share of heartbreaks made way too many mistakes but